Hey guys, it's Gameface here and welcome back to another FIFA 15 career mode video and today we are on the Juventus career mode. Now in the last episode, you guys went absolutely mad on the like button. We got 12 likes and in this episode, if we could get 15, that would be absolutely amazing and really appreciated guys. So go hit that button, it is very quick. And uh, yeah, we've got a big game against Milan today. We have uh, really got to recover from the last episode, which really did not start well at all. This is the team we have got. This is the team I'm going to be using against Milan. Uh, we're going to go for 4 5 1, and hopefully, we can get a good result from this. Um, I am contemplating whether to maybe swap Pogba and Marquisio, uh, but we'll have to see how that goes, I think, in the first few minutes um, of the Milan games. So, yeah, let's get straight into this video and uh, hopefully try and get a win against Milan. We are second bottom at the moment. Really not started well. Now, for those of you who don't know, we are on world class difficulty. Um, I'm used to kind of just cruising on. Uh, professional difficulty if I'm honest with you um, so world class is a little bit of a step up but we should be alright I think in this game even though we have not played well at all in the last two games uh, I'm really really hoping we can finally get our first run of the season um, I've gone with a pretty young team um, quite fast plays in there as well so hopefully we should be able to get on the score sheet a few times I've gone back to my old favourites uh, with Tevez rather than trying out players like Morata and things like that so we've uh, really gone all the way back to the starting 11 uh, and people that are the best overalls hopefully uh, that'll do as well got Milana passing it around us really well here they've just got themselves a corner as well it wouldn't surprise me if the, P uh, the possession is about 80% to them at the moment we've barely had a touch of the ball in the first 15 minutes Tevez carrying it again he's doing really well with this dribbling here again can't get through the little gap but I think we've won ourselves a free kick here we're in a good position I've scored a free kick recently on ultimate team but it's going to be Walcott, I didn't realise actually it was Walcott, and he's gone in, brilliant for Walcott, outside the box, curled over the wall nicely, and that is in fact three free kicks that I've scored in a row, I scored one earlier on on a different career mode, and I scored one on Ultimate Team yesterday, that's three in a row now that I've scored um, in, on uh, FIFA, that's pretty good, I don't normally score free kicks, but I'm doing really well at the moment, and I didn't even know Walcott um, was any good at them, but it appears he is, and uh, we put ourselves into the lead. That's quite literally our first shot on target. In fact, probably our first shot as well. Uh, so a good start to this game. We've finally got a lead. Let's hope we can keep hold of it. Carlos Tevez is still going. He's going to shoot. Tevez, good save from Lopez. Managed to just about keep hold of it in the end. But uh, another shot on target for us. And we're not playing too badly now. Good opportunity for Milan. It's gone in. That's not Fernando Torres, is it? Who is it? Can't even tell who that is. El Shirai's just gone and scored. Oh my god. Look how fluky this one is. I thought I got it out and it's now one all. Just before half time. That's actually one of their only opportunities. They've not had too much um too many decent opportunities anyway. Um, but uh, that is very annoying actually that's just happened. But we've gone all the way through and it's another good save from Lopez. They've just about cleared it. That was straight from kickoff as well, and it is half time. One all. A Walcott free kick has been cancelled out just before half time. And I think I'm going to keep the team exactly the same. Oh, it's gone through, and Tevez kind of got on the end of it. Lopez just beats him to it. It was a good start to this half, actually. We did just win a free kick a minute ago. Um, nowhere near shooting distance, but we made something of it anyway. And Marquisio is going through. He's going to shoot. Must be. Oh, another good save from Lopez. He's really kept the minute here. Sterling to Walcott. Walcott's going to shoot. And is that a corner? No, it's a goal kick. Poor shot on Walcott's left foot. Oh, that's a bad challenge. Tevez just beat the defender. And Alex, I think it was, brought him down. I think it was Alex anyway. He's got a yellow card for it. It was. And again, it's not shooting distance. It's a bit far out. And we will try a bit of build-up play. Hopefully a couple of 1-2s. Maybe we can break through here. Oh, I couldn't get past uh, the uh, defender there. I don't know who it was. Carlos Tevez. He's got a bit more room to run at the defence here. He's gone inside. Carlos Tevez. 2-1. So first goal for Tevez in this game. We're back into the lead. Uh, that's a brilliant finish from him. Comes inside and just boots it in the bottom left-hand corner. Lopez couldn't save that one. Nice finish right into the corner that one. And I think we're going to be making some changes fairly soon, just to freshen up the team a bit. We've got a counter-attack going here. Tevez on the run. Skips past Zapata. 
And Tevez is through again. Oh, just scores. Manages to jump over Alex, jumps over Lopez and slots the ball back into that bottom left-hand corner again. It's his second goal of the game. Two goals um, in fairly quick succession. I think maybe 10 minutes. Jumps over Alex and then has to jump over Lopez. In fact, gets wiped out by Lopez there in the end. Brilliant finish. And we're now 3-1 in the lead and perfect time to make some changes. Okay, so I'm going to put a bit more pace into the midfield. Um, Pereira, I think that's how you pronounce his name, is going to come on. Vidal's going to come off. Not seen much from Vidal, really. He's had quite a poor game. I'm also going to bring on Dabella, except he's going to play where Marquisio was playing. Um, he's going to come off because he's not really done too much. He's done a bit more than Vidal did, um, but I'm happy to just bring on Dabella uh, for a bit more pace again going forward. Uh, I think Felipe Anderson will stay on the bench just for now, um, and then he'll probably come on later on in the game, maybe for Raheem Sterling or Theo Walcott. And for now, that is going to be all the changes that I'm going to make. Walcott's won it back straight away from the kickoff. He's running it, still going, Theo Walcott. Good save by Lopez. We've got another corner. De Jong's just been taken off. Montari's just been brought on. Need a left footer, I think, to take this one. We'll get Rodriguez to take it. We'll see how he does. An in-swinging one. Oh, he's gone up, I think, Pogba there. But he hasn't won it. Still got it here with Dybala. Pogba's still got it. It's somehow fallen. And I don't know who he's gone to. Tevez is up there. And it will just about be saved there by Armano. I think it was. Tevez has got loads of space in front of him here. Can he get his hat-trick here, Carlos Tevez? He does just. I thought I'd gone wide for a moment, and then he uh, made it 4-1. Again on that left-hand side of the goal. Outside of the foot this time. Lopez doesn't save it, and it's a thrashing against Milan. Tevez wants some more. It's going to be a fourth here, surely, for Carlos Tevez. It is 5-1 against Milan. Straight away from kickoff, virtually again, winning the ball back. And wow, we are absolutely thrashing them here. We're still on world class, bear that in mind. And uh, again, into the back of the net, outside of the foot. And we are going to make the last change. I know there's only five minutes left, but I feel like I just want to anyway. Um, I'll put Felipe Anderson on the pitch. I don't think there's any point bringing on Morata, really. And um, we'll leave Bernia and uh, Ceseres on the bench. Through to Carlos Tevez. No way, this can't be five for him, surely. Oh, it's saved this time. And Tevez again, it's saved by Lopez, wow. A double save from him. It was nearly five goals for Tevez. And Pogba's going to take this. I don't know why Pogba's taking it, really. Oh, another good save, actually, that one from Lopez. Tevez through to Pereira, I think it's called. Oh, no, he's gone wide. Ugh. Periara, I think. Periara, something like that. That's the only reason why he doesn't start. I can't pronounce his name. And it has finished 5-1. A thrashing in Milan, beating them 5-1, and I think it was four goals for Tevez, and one goal for Theo Walcott from that free kick. I think it was four for Tevez, I don't really know, I'm pretty sure it was though, we'll have to see I think uh, when it comes up. Theo Walcott with the man of the match, Tevez with four like I said, and Walcott with one. So we're now up to 12th in the table, that's a pretty good leap. Uh, only three points from three games though, that's not very good. We've got another home game here, and he wants to be rotated in. Experimenting with the team. Oof. That doesn't seem too good. Uh, I'll go sort the team out. I might decide to play him. We'll have to see what overall he is. Okay, I don't want to change the team too much, because we have just won very convincingly. So I've kept the attack pretty much the same. Uh, you can see I have brought in uh, Rubin Rubinho, I think it's pronounced. Um, and then I've brought in Ceceres at centre-back. Bernat at left-back. And Pereira at centre mid. Um, and then I've obviously just changed the bench uh, according. I've brought Perlo onto the bench as well. And hopefully um, that can get us a win. We're going to keep with the 4-5-1 formation. And hopefully, like I say, we can get a win. I've just created a new team sheet as well called Changes. I tend to do that with every team uh, that I do on career mode. Um, just so you don't have to faff around with one. You can keep a first team team sheet. And you can keep a Changes one as well. Which you can just alter whenever you want. So yeah, let's get straight into this game. It is against um, Sasena, something like that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's get straight into this game. Right, we should really win this game, um, considering that they're not a particularly good team that I know of, because I, I don't really know much about them, really. Um, but I think we should really beat them. Let's see how we get on. 
Not a good start at all. Good save from the goalkeeper. God. I regret saying that already. It's only been a few seconds since I said it. This team loved to pass. Wow. I really wish I put Booth on in that now. I can see myself conceding quite a few at this rate. Tevez is all by himself. He's got quite a few people to dribble past. He's managed to just about do it. Is it a tight angle? He gets taken a deflection and gone off the bar. Wow, that was actually very near going into the back of the net. Let's try and get hold of this game. Theo Walcott. We're going to try and pass it around maybe on the edge of the box here. Through to Theo Walcott. He didn't shoot. Just like he didn't do in real life. Oh my god. I pressed shoot, but it didn't even bother shooting. A uh, similar thing happened when uh, they played West Ham. Arsenal uh, played West Ham um, a few days ago. And Theo Walcott didn't shoot quite a lot of times, actually. Come on, Tevez. Let's have a good bit of dribbling. Tevez on his left foot. Good save by the goalkeeper. Oh, no. Good block. Wow. Marquisio's gone through. Doesn't quite have the strength to get a shot away, though. And it's going to be a free kick, I think. Tevez is through here. I think he's onside. Tevez, 1-0. Brilliant finish from him. Been really reliable in this last uh, two games that he's played for us. Beats the defenders with his pace. And he's put it into that left-hand side of the goal again. 1-0. That's half-time. We are winning 1-0 still. Hopefully we can get a second goal in the second half. Uh, just to try and secure the lead a bit. Because at the moment we're not really 100% um, in the lead. They have had a couple of good chances. But we are... A dominator, I think, possession. It feels like we are, even if we're not. Um, so at the moment, we are doing pretty well. And we're not, are we? We're not dominating possession, according to the stats. But I think we're having enough of the ball to maybe get a second anyway. Tevez through to Pereira. Pereira still saved by the goalkeeper. I could have passed it across to Tevez. But I decided to go for the shot, and it was a good save in the end. Our defence has been stretched here. Just managed to recover with De Shiglion. We've won the uh, goal kick as well. That's even better. Right, now for some changes. There's literally 11 minutes left. And our players getting really low on energy here. We're going to have to change things a bit. Ooh, who do I bring on? I'm going to have to bring on Dybala again. And we're going to take off Pogba, I think. Actually, no, I can't really do that because he wins back the ball quite a lot. So we'll take off um, Pereira if I can get to him. There we go. And we'll bring on Marquisio um, to play centre mid. And Dabella will just go in that centre attack and mid-roll. Tevez can stay on. I'm also going to bring on Perlo. And I'm going to take off Marquisio. And we're also going to again bring on Felipe Anderson. And I'm going to play him, I think, instead of Sterling again. Because Sterling's not done too much this game yet again. Hopefully, um, he can have a bit more of an impact. Tevez is through here. Carlos Tevez to finish the game off. Oh, my God. It hits it wide. What are you doing? Oh, no, they've gone through. God, I was about to say a good save then, but it's really not. A poor save. Oh, Tevez manages to get in between the defenders who collide with each other. And uh, Dybala's on this left-hand side. We're going to go for the attack, even though we are only winning 1-0. Straight at the goalkeeper. And we've got a corner. Perlo to take. Let's hope it's a nice one. Straight in, and goalkeeper catches it straight away. And that is it, we have won 1 0. To say we just beat in, um, AC Milan 5 1, and um, we can't even beat this team any more than 1 0. Uh, it is very surprising, it's really strange how it's working at the moment. At least we've got another three points, so that's the main thing. Two wins from four now, and um, two out of the last two games as well. So we've had a bit of a better start um, after those uh, two games that we lost originally. We're up to seventh now. Uh, so we're actually catching up the leaders, which is where we need to be. Inter Milan at the top. They've won all four of their games. Lazio just underneath them, who have also won all four games. And uh, yeah, we will eventually get up there, I'm hoping. Another three points might see me up to maybe fifth, something like that. Which would be really cool. Let's have a look at the emails that we've got. An update from Spain. Not going to bother looking at that. And the board just telling me that they're happy with the uh, dedication I've brought to the club. Uh, thanks for the opportunity. Right, the next game against Atlanta we are going to leave for the next episode. Uh, I'm just going to have a quick look at this, what's happening here. Um, oh, yeah, basically, they're thinking it's down to us selling uh, Quagularia. 
but I don't think it is to be honest with you I don't really think I would have used him he's not the most mobile player I don't think I'm not 100% sure uh, actually he doesn't seem too bad he's 5 foot 11 uh, but yeah we did basically sell him before I even got out of the club I'm pretty sure but that is it guys that is the end of this episode uh, episode 5 next episode I think it is and uh, hopefully we can get another win against Atlanta let's see the other games that we have coming up as well um, it should be quite an interesting next few episodes, getting us back up to the top of the table. A game against Roma coming up, that's going to be a tricky one. And uh, a few easy ones then. And do we have any Champions League games? I don't think we do, but we do have a cup game in the January transfer window, which will be coming up shortly. But like I say, that is it guys, thank you for watching. Like I said at the start of the video, it would be amazing if we could hit 15 likes on this video. Um, let's try and beat the last episode uh, when we got 12 likes. And uh, yeah, also subscribe whilst you are there. It is free to do that really quick. Again, it's just a click of a button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.